Hi, this is Dave Early, and today I want to talk to you about the fact that you can live in spiritual victory, emotional victory. Too many of us live in defeat uh, too often to our hurts, our habits, our hang-ups, but that does not have to be true of you. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, if you like this video, we have access to dozens of these type of videos on our YouTube channel. I encourage you to subscribe and you can get access to all those videos. Well, Jesus made a statement that sets us up to walk in victory. He says, you will know, you will experience the truth and the truth will set you free. So every time we're thinking and living truth, we are experiencing victory and freedom. But every time we walk in lies, we experience defeat. Well, I'm going to talk about three lies that I've heard Christians uh, repeat to me so often as sort of excuses for why they continue in sin, why they continue to be defeated by their flesh, by, by, by the temptations of the world, and by the devil. Let me give you three lies that keep us defeated. Number one, Christians sin every day. Well, well, Pastor, uh, Christians just sin every day. I just sin every day. Well, that's, that, that should not be true. You're not a victim to the world. You're not a victim to the flesh. You're not a victim to the devil. Jesus died to defeat uh, sin. Jesus died to defeat uh, the devil. Jesus died to, to crucify your flesh. It says in Romans chapter 6, and I'm going to read several verses. Verses 1 and 2 say, What shall we say? Shall we continue in sin that grace may multiply? Absolutely not. How can you who died to sin still live in it? Verse 6, For we know that our old self was crucified with him in order that sin's dominion over the body may be abolished so that we may no longer be enslaved to it. You're no longer the slave of sin. Verse 11, So you too consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its desires. What he's saying is Jesus uh, didn't sin. He took our sin. He, he paid the penalty for our sin. He was crucified for our sin. And he rose again to show that he had victory over sin. So you do not have to continue in sin. The only power sin has in your life is the power you give it. It says in Romans 8, verse 12, So then, brothers, we're not obligated to the flesh. You don't have to listen to uh, the flesh telling you that you need to sin any longer. We're no longer obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh. That obligation was broken at the cross. So stop saying, stop thinking, well, I just sin every day. Stop it. You don't have to. Jesus died so that you don't do that anymore. There's a second lie that I hear people say that keeps people in bondage, and that lie is this. Well, I just can't help the way I am. I just can't help it. It's just the way I am. I, I've always had an anger problem. I just was made this way. I just have a bent this way. Well, you maybe can't help the way you are, but Jesus did help the way you are. When you get saved, truly saved, the Bible says you're, you're no longer the same person. Therefore, if you be in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, you are a new creation. The old things, the, the life dominated by sin and self and the devil, the old things have passed away and all things have become new. So you can help the way you are because Jesus did. He died. Maybe you were the slave of sin. You were the slave of a bad habit. You were the slave of haunting thoughts. You were the slave of the flesh, of sin, of self, of Satan. But you are now free from sin and self and Satan. You are now, who you are in Christ, more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You don't need to sin. You don't have to sin. You can choose not to sin through the power of Christ in you. The third lie that I hear often that keeps people in bondage is this. Well, people keep sinning. They say, well, God will forgive me. I can sin and get away with it. Can you? 
can you? It says in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you will also reap. There are consequences to our actions. We may not experience those consequences right away, but ultimately we will. It will affect you on earth, and it will definitely affect your eternity. If, if you're continuing in sin, you've probably never been born again. Your choices always have consequences. Now, the cross is sufficient. It's sufficient, so it, it saves you from hell, and the cross is sufficient to save you from sin. You don't have to continue in sin. So stop choosing to sin. Look, you can walk in victory. It's up to you. Jesus died and rose again to give you everything you need to walk in victory. Learn to think the truth, and the truth will set you free. Well, I'd love to see your comments on this video. If you liked it, share it with others. If you like this type of Bible teaching, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get access to, to dozens more videos just like this.